hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. This video is currently not, has nothing to do with this. My scope, it's up here. But instead has to do with this. No, not the monitor. The unusual desktop. Because, well, this machine, you might recognize it. Look down there. I got a new machine. Which just happened to have a PCI graphics card. Focus, god damn you! Focus on hand, that's it. Follow the hand. Oh, there we goes. I need to find if there's manual focus for video mode. So I popped it in there and fired it up. Ah, uh, I discovered one. Well, I know this. There is one very big fault with this computer. Windows Vista Basic. Oh crap, you're not going to focus now, are you? There we go. Now, this is a prime example of an incompetent user. I have been able to find out a lot about this person without even meeting them. I'm not going to publish such information. But one thing I would like to show to their level of incompetence, sod off, I don't care. See, this, this is all what Vista is all about. Annoying pop-ups, slow as hell, piece of shit. Computer... And then we want to go to... The person's name is Victor. I don't really care. There we go. Now, because we have no bloody Tracy thing... This is how incompetent they are. Read that eBay and PayPal information. eBay. That's got all their PayPal and eBay logons. Oh bugger, the keyboard just fell down. Yeah, solid. This is a prime example of how not to dispose. When you, basically, when you throw away your computer, Make sure, you, one, you remove the hard drive and keep it, or find a deleting software on the internet and write over it, or physically smash the hard drive to bits with a hammer, burn it, blow it up, whatever you feel like doing with it. Because that is the kind of information that fraudsters want. Now, Mr. Victor, Looking at that machine, you might know, you might know, you should know who you are. Looking at desktop, you should know who you are. If you come across this video, Victor, I must stress to you, I cannot stress this to you enough, remove the hard drive and destroy it. Because all this data is on here. Now you're lucky it's fallen into the wrong hands and I shall do the right thing and destroy the data on there with software. And then I shall rewrite over it with a decent OS, such as XP, because that's only got 512 megabyte of RAM, a little crappy Celeron processor, aka Broken Pentium 4, and so on and so forth. I'll, and I might even turn it into a server. Who knows? But that is a prime example of how not to do it. You've also got, well, loads and loads of images, of holidays and stuff. Very, there is so much information that relates to this person. It's scary how much information people put on their computers. And phones are getting like it. Old phones, though, aren't quite so easy to get the data off as computers. Yeah, so word of warning. Ever throw away your computer, make sure you remove the hard drive. Because it could really come back to bite you on the ass. This user 
is lucky in the fact that I obtained the machine from the scrap pile. It wasn't put out, it was also put out of service this year because the caps blew on the motherboard. I have replaced the caps and got the thing up and running to absolutely the cost of zero pounds. Yep, that's right. And I shall continue sorting this computer out, but I wanted to keep the data on to prove this point. I cannot prove it enough. And anyone in the techie industry cannot prove it enough because next time you might not be lucky and you might have someone malicious take find your computer you've thrown out for the dustman and then they take it home and steal all your data well you know whose fault that is it's your fault for being so incompetent and if that ever does happen to you well don't expect sympathy because it is ridiculous destroy your hard drive destroy the data it could cost you a lot and you could potentially lose your identity there's a lot of information on here to do with the identity so I have taken this and the information on here will be destroyed and please no one request any of it because I will not give it as it's information that should be destroyed. Thanks for watching, and if anything, I do hope some computer illiterate users come along and see this as an example of not only what sort of information not to put on your computer, but also of what sort of information to actually bother with. And also, actually add some form of security and give your user area some form of password that's all from me and thanks for watching I do hope you enjoyed and I do hope any of computer illiterates out there have learnt something from this if you don't know what a hard drive is research it type in HDD into Google HDD hard drive are the same thing for you oh if you don't know what a hard drive is the same thing you pick up lots on Google. See you in the next see ya.